everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, hi, my name is Eve. Today I'm bringing you this summer look. It's very kind of golden. Honestly, the weather has been beautiful in England and then literally as I finish filming this video, it is pissing it down outside. Just my look. So anyway, if you would like to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. I've already started off by moisturising my skin using the Nip and Fab Kale Fix Moisturiser. And I have also concealed my eyelids using the Pro Conceal from LA Girl. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is the Lemon Drizzle from I Heart Revolution. In my last video, you'll know that I did my first ever vlog. I went to the I Heart Revolution launch event um, for their new palettes. These raised retail at $8.99 each. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work with this today. And if you haven't watched my vlog, I'll put a link to it in the description box below. And then please go and watch it and let me know what you think. I'm starting off with the shade Lemon Slice, just buffing that right along my crease. I'm just being quite sort of rounded with this, quite free, not really worrying too much where it goes, it's just sort of acting as a really light transition shade. I'm now just going to take this shade called Tempting and I've just switched to a slightly smaller fluffy brush and then again focusing this in my crease so you can really feel where your eyeball goes back and that's where you should be applying the product. I'm using circular motions and I'm moving this right towards the front of my eye. So it's sort of like right the way across. I'm not building things up like too bright today because I want this to be quite a wearable, wearable look. I'm adding this shade here called Scrumptious in and um, it's got a slightly more purpley undertone just because I want to use baked and delicious in my eyes as well so I'm just going to give it a slight, a slight purple tinge. So I'm taking this on my masked colour packer brush and I'm stamping that into my crease. I'm just taking that first orange colour and just using that to blend out the purple shade. So now I'm going to cut into my crease using the Peaches and Cream Primer and a flat brush. It's important to stop this about three quarters of the way, like just before the edge of your eye, like don't stop it in the middle. Because it's just not, it's not very flattering on the eye. Now taking this colour called Delicious, I'm kind of just like patting it in with a fluffy brush so it's kind of just like blending as it's going but I'm still getting the, the pigmentation. So the golds in this palette are actually really pigmented, they're quite nice, however I know something that's just even brighter that's going to really transform this look. This is the I Heart Revolution Champagne, Champagne and Diamonds Triple Baked Highlighter. And I'm going to be taking this gold shade here. I actually use this on my eyes um, in a little video tutorial I did on my Instagram. So I'm just going to place this over the top. I'm actually using my blank canvas. The name's come off. I don't know what it is. It's this like little jewel ended brush. This is very similar to Trophy Wife by Rihanna. But it's like nowhere near as expensive. And then going back over with that delicious pink shade and just wiggling that across the eye so they blend. I feel like these colours are very like unlike me but I'm really 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 liking them. So I'm just going to take my I Heart Revolution pen, it has all of these different settings here. This feels a little bit gimmicky but honestly it's really really handy, I absolutely love it. So I'm just taking the black, I'm just going to run this along my lash line. I'm kind of just like scribbling backwards and forwards. I'm trying not to create too much of a harsh line. I just want my lashes to sort of blend in. So I'm going to leave that where it is for now and then I'm going to do the underneath of my eyes afterwards. So I'm just going to start off with foundation. I'm really liking the Rimmel Lasting Finish at the moment. So I'm just going to take this and then a little blob of something a tiny bit lighter. I'm applying this with my blank canvas F06 brush. It's one of my favourite brushes. I'm literally just going to start swiping it across my face. Starting in the centre. And then I'm just going to push it, push it outwards. To conceal underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the Primark My Perfect Colour Liquid Concealer. A little bit on my chin and down the centre of my nose. 
I'm taking this brush. Now, this is actually like a sort of fake of the Rio Techniques brush that I got from China to do like a comparison video that just never happened. Um, but it's actually one of my favourite brushes, so I'm just using that and patting that, patting that all in. Um, contour, I'm going to be taking the masked contour brush and a little bit of this cream contour stick from Primark. This is obviously meant to be like the KKW. And I'm literally just going to draw it on there. I just feel like it can go a little bit patchy when you uh, apply it straight out the tube. I'm going to start focusing it going from the top of my ear down to the corner of my mouth. But I'm going to stop about in line with my eye. So you're not bringing it down quite that far. Like that. And then down the sides of my nose. So when I say sides, you're technically drawing just on top of your nose. Down the bridge to make it appear as if it's the sides of your nose. Taking powder foundation, this one is from Stiller. This is just like their refill one. I'm taking a sponge. I'm literally just going to press this underneath my eyes. And that's going to set my concealer. And also just give a little bit of extra, extra brightness at the same time. Like you can see, you can see the difference. Next, I'm going to bronze with the CYO bronzing powder, and I'm going to use this sculpting brush by Peaches and Cream. I'm just going to focus this around my contour to help blend it in and warm up my face on camera. I'm looking like a little bit, a little bit paler, but. I have to say, like, it does match up okay in real life. Across my forehead, so I'm just doing, like, a little bit of contouring of my forehead with this. I don't like to use cream contour on my forehead because I feel like it can go a bit muddy. A little bit just on this little flabby bit there. Now to bake, I'm using my Ilmasca translucent powder. I'm literally just drawing right underneath that contour line. So the only place that I ever tend to bake is my jawline because it just enhances my contour. Um, I don't tend to do it underneath my eyes or anything like that just because it can be a little bit drying. You can skip this step if you want. It's 100% not necessary at all. It's just a little bit extra thing that I like to do. So I'm going to take that highlighter again. I'm going to mix all the colours together and I'm using the Blank Canvas F40 brush. I'm just applying... Oh. Wow. Wow. A little bit more of the gold in there. there go. These highlighters are beautiful. All of the Makeup Revolution and um, I Heart Revolution ones are lovely. Just above my brow. Just a little bit subtly, just so that you have that nice kind of kind of glow when you move your head. Okay, now that my under eyes are set, I can go underneath my eyes with the colours that I'm going to do underneath my eyes. My under eyes are set, I'm going to go in with this colour baked right underneath my eyes. Now this is a shimmer, so we'll see if this looks okay underneath. I might have to change it if not. Switching to a blending brush and using that delicious colour, which is the pink. I'm just going to blend that into my actual foundation. I'm also going to take just the outside of these and I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner. I don't want to use anything too golden because otherwise you're not going to see the difference between that and the lid colour. So for mascara I'm going to be using the Trifle Cosmetics Black Mascara on my top lashes and on my bottom lashes I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Cape Mascara in the shade Amethyst which is like a purpley colour. I'm actually just going to go back to my Revolution pen. I'm taking this colour here, which is the lightest one out of them all. I'm going to put that in my waterline. I think this is sort of like a highlighting colour. There you go. If I look straight ahead, you can see the difference in the eyes. This one just looks slightly brighter because of that lighter colour. For my brows, I'm going to be taking my Makeup Geek um, eyebrow brush. So it's just like the double-ended one. And then I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution brow pomade in the shade Blonde. I know everything in this tutorial it seems like it's makeup revolution but if you watch any of my other tutorials you'll know I use all this stuff anyway. So I'm just going to give the little brush through first. I just start at the arch and I'm just drawing hair strokes in. Like I never like spend too long on my brows or make them like 
too precise. I know everyone's like obsessed with brows, but I just, I don't know. I'm just not that into them. I just like to kind of like do this, like draw some, some kind of lines to kind of blend it in, if that even makes sense. I'm not very good at describing how I do my eyebrows. This is like why, why I never show them. I kind of like don't have a proper technique. Okay, then what I'm going to do for these like front bits is just turn my brush upwards and draw a few hair strokes just with whatever sort of left on my brush. Okay, so I've also just popped on my eyelashes um, and then I'm just going to take this big powder brush, this is from UK MUA, and I'm just going to wipe away all of that, that baking. Um, I just go over it quite a lot just to make sure there's not a white cast. There we go, I just feel like that sort of cleans everything up, sets everything in place. I'm going to add a little bit of blusher because I kind of forgot to add blusher. Um, and I do like blusher. I do like blusher a lot. What blusher should I use? I'm going to be using my Colour Harmony by Milani. And with the Peaches and Cream Sculpt Brush. Put a smile and place it on the apples of my cheeks. Working upwards. Okay, so Makeup Revolution also have um, a lip liner pen. This has got four different lip liners on. The other pen did include a lip liner as well, but this one is just four different nudes. I don't think you realise how much I need a product like this in my life. You may think, why would you possibly need loads of different nude lip liners? But I overdraw my lips, and I like to use sometimes like two lip liners at least. Um, but this just keeps them all together. I've got actually two of these, so I've got one in my handbag and I've got one at my beauty station. Go in with the, ooh, with the sort of dark pink colour here, and then all you do is push it in, and then twist it up. Now just swap into a more nudier one to blend that in. I'm just going to place a tiny bit of this lipstick by Ribble London in the shade Mocha. I'm just putting that in the centre of her lip and then I'm going to use my ring finger to blend that out. So there we go, here is the finished look for you to see. I have to say I absolutely love this palette, like it's one of my new favourite palettes and I honestly think I would have never picked up colours like these and then put them together the way I did if it wasn't for this gorgeous palette. There's so many beautiful shades in there and um, I'm definitely going to be using this one again. So that is all for today. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I absolutely love this look. This is one of my favourite looks I've done. I think it's really, really wearable. It's just got that hint of summer in as well. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love this Lemon Drizzle palette. We'll definitely be using it again. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, please check out my last video and any of my previous videos as well. And please subscribe to my channel because I've been doing this for quite a while now. And I'm not really getting that far. So if you press the subscribe button and watch my other videos and comment or thumbs up, that would be absolutely grand. And yeah, I will see you next Sunday with another tutorial.